What is up DFS players? Alex here and we are going through the best MLB player props for today, June 4th. So again, the key to making money on prize picks is looking at the lines on prize picks and comparing it to the sports books, which are more efficient betting markets. They're bigger companies, they take more action. And the first big line discrepancy we can see is in Paul Blackburn total strikeout. So in the Athletics Red Sox game, you can see prize picks has the line set at three and a half strikeouts as seen on Odds Jam, but most sports books have the line set at four and a half right, which you can see right here. So this indicates to us, you know, looking at the odds, FanDuel has this minus 166, that Blackburn, if you're going to play this on prize picks, you want to play the over, right? You want to play back Blackburn over three and a half strikeouts, minus 137, implied odds on prize picks. So if you're curious where this minus 137 comes from, it's because any two-player prop pick you know, entry we have in prize picks, any two player props we select, we are going to be staking $20 to win $40 in profit. So 20 to win 60, 40 in profit, your $20 stake, that's just plus 200 odds, just like on a sports book. Doesn't matter if you take the overs or the unders, doesn't matter what picks you select. $20 to win 60, which is plus 200 odds, which essentially means you have to be winning all of your prize picks entries 33.33% of the time for two pick entries to break even. So to break even for a two pick entry, that means we have to win each pick we have in our player prop 57.74% of the time to break even. Right, so ideally, you're finding player props on prize picks that are winning over 57.74% of the time, right? And the best way to do this is you use Odds Jam in the tools available, such as on the low holds page, which shows you markets that are close to being arbitrage bets, and you look for value on prize picks, right? So here I'm on the low holds page, and I notice this line discrepancy in the player strikeouts market between FanDuel and prize picks, right? So clearly on prize picks, since they're setting the strikeout total at over under three and a half, and um, you know, the sports books are at four and a half, the value is on the over on prize picks. So that's the pick I'm going with. Then the second pick I have is from the Odds Jam arbitrage betting tool, right? So ideally you're checking as many, you know, betting tools as possible. So here we can see for um, Pablo Lopez, over five and a half strikeouts, FanDuel has the line set at four and a half. That is their main line market. They have the alternate set at over five and a half plus 154, right? So you can get under five and a half implied odds, minus 137 on prize picks. So this is the second pick I'm going to include in my um, prize picks entry. So let's go ahead, let's log in, and let's hit this wager. So we want Pablo Lopez under five and a half strikeouts. And then we wanted for the second player prop in the athletics game, Blackburn over three and a half. So one over, one under. Um, nope, got to reverse it. This is the best player prop currently available on prize picks found using the betting tools on Odds Jam and just comparing the lines on prize picks, like you can see right here to the lines on the sports books, the more efficient betting markets. When you see line discrepancies on prize picks versus sports books, you're gonna wanna include those in your player prop entries on prize picks. So two player props for today, we'll stake 250 on it to win $500 a profit, win 750 total. So 250, you know, to win 750, $500 a profit because this includes our stake. So let's make some money betting on prize picks. And any questions you have about this video, feel free to comment below or book a call with us.